All right, what's going on guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing another Walking Dead discussion topic video, gonna to be doing some predictions for the future. So, this may occur late season five, probably season six, season seven of the TV series. But in this video, we're gonna be talking about who is it that Negan will kill when he makes his appearance in the Walking Dead television series. Stuff. So this one does contain spoilers for the comic book series if there's anyone who has not read up to issue 100 and is worried about me spoiling that for you be aware you know click off now because we're going to talk about it since of course we can't talk about what's going to happen in the TV series without talking about uh, you know <clears throat> with this with this particular topic what happened in the comic book series is going to be based on. Uh, in The Walking Dead Season 4, we saw a lot of scenes that were like splash pages right out of the comic book series shown in uh, TV form, shown in video form, and they were amazing. And I think we're going to see a lot more of that going forward where uh, it's going to be similar type events, maybe with different characters, for example, switching out uh, Tyrese for Herschel, switching out certain characters so that we're going to get those comic book great moments but we're not going to be we're not going to know which character it's going to be they're going to throw switcheroos in there like with Herschel they're going to throw different things in there we're not really going to know what's going to happen but we're going to see the same type of events so um, if you guys have read the All Out War and, and, and Negan, Something to Fear from the Walking Dead comic book series what you'll know is when we're first introduced to Negan basically um, Rick and his group fight against him right away essentially Negan's strategy is this he has a group of about 50 to 100 men, somewhere around there, uh, all of which are basically fighters. He doesn't really have anybody that's just like a regular person. He turns everybody into fighters, and uh, they all basically are. So what they do is they go around, they kill walkers, and they take supplies. Uh, now, after a couple years in the zombie apocalypse, supplies become more and more rare. So what he has done is he finds communities as well, and he basically says, we'll offer you protection from zombies, we'll keep you safe, we'll kill them, but you will pay up to us half of what you get, so half of your supplies. If you don't give us enough, we kill a member of your group. And that's basically the way it works. Groups that are not strong enough, like for example, uh, the hilltop that we see, or I can think of in the TV series, actually a group like uh, Terminus maybe, unless uh, Gareth decides to fight back, or groups like that will not have much of a choice because they'll see you know, almost 100 guys heavily armed, um, ready to go, scary dudes, and they'll say, hey, you know what, we better either hightail it out of here or we better pay up because if we fight back against him, it's going to be a massacre. They outnumber us three to one or two to one or they outnumber us by a lot of guys and they're tough as nails. So uh, essentially Rick at first thinks it's a bluff. He doesn't believe Negan has all these guys and, and is as powerful as uh, some of the other groups think that he is. And essentially he proceeds to kill a few members of his group. So when Negan finally tracks Rick's group down and gets them basically to the point where he's got like 50 guys and Rick only has a group of like six or seven, um, essentially Negan is in the power position there's not really anything Rick's group can do so Negan gives Rick um, basically a, a chance he says okay you've killed a couple of my guys here's the rules one of you at least one person from your group has to pay and he chooses who he's gonna kill and he kills one particular character in issue 100 I I guess I won't say who because I don't really want to you know if you guys have read it you know what I'm talking about if you've heard it you know who I'm talking about so he kills one particular character now I will say that particular character uh, I do not believe will die in the TV series the same way but as a result he could die at any time because he was killed at that time so I think we're gonna see something similar to those events because it's pretty epic when he when he does the any any meeny miny mo as he's picking the person um, but I think it's going to be, it's definitely going to be someone different. Now, a lot of people have requested this topic. They want to hear my thoughts on who I think it's going to be. Could it be somebody like Daryl or somebody else like that? So all the fangirls go crazy while he, Negan uses his baseball bat and bashes his head in. <laughs> oh man, that'd be bad. Fangirls everywhere would just go crazy. Um, I, a lot of guys seem to like that, or they seem to like that idea. I personally don't. I think that Daryl is Dwight. Now, they could do that if they do bring in Dwight, because you don't really need Daryl and Dwight. They're so similar. Having two guys with a crossbow on two different sides, 
you know, it's uh, one of them's got to go. So if you're going to have Dwight last for a while, I would think you'd get rid of Daryl. So it's that's a possibility. We could see something epic like that, and that could be a because that would be a big death. You'd be intru- introducing a villain even bigger than the governor, and you'd be killing a huge character with it. It's got to be a big death. Um, so Daryl is a possibility, even though I think uh, I think he is Dwight, and I think uh, we're going to see something different with that. So I don't think it'll be Daryl. He might get half his face burnt off though. Uh, if they go, if they if they turn Daryl into Dwight, and then we all go, oh, that's where they're going with it, which they might do. So for that reason, I, I would give it a slight chance to Daryl, but pretty pretty low. Okay, so who else could he potentially kill from the uh, from the TV series? Uh, I would see. I, I don't think it's going to be a female. Um, that would be messed up. Don't, don't you guys think? I mean, if he, if he, well, The Walking Dead's messed up, <laughs> no matter what. Uh, but if he did that to a female uh, with a baseball bat, helpless, oh man, yeah, there's no coming back from that. Every woman would hate him forever. So it's got to be a male, I would think. Uh, I'm talking Abraham, I'm thinking, uh, Tyrese, um, maybe another new character if they bring on some new ones. Uh, let's see, who else we got? Um... I would I would say so I would say somebody like that yeah somebody like that because unless we get some new characters maybe Gabriel if he if he comes into play um, maybe Bob that's a possibility too someone like Bob but the thing is we just met Bob now if this happens in a couple seasons that could make sense if they go with Bob um, let's see who else we got in terms of strong males I think that's pretty much it. Eugene, no. I, I think they're going to keep Eugene around no matter what. Um, so I would say it'd have to be one of those. Um, because Tyrese is open season, we don't know what they're going to do with Tyrese. I could definitely see them doing that with Tyrese, and I could definitely see it with Abraham as well. Um, so I would think one of them is probably most likely to be the Negan intro kill, one of them. If I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to guess I'm going to pick somebody, I think I'm going to go with I think I'm going to go with Tyrese. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with Tyrese. Um, because he's already out of out of place already. Because in the comic book series, he died when Herschel dies, right? In the TV series. So he's already uh, kind of on borrowed time, if you want to think of it that way. Um, and he's been around since season, damn, it'd be season three midway when he first appeared. So I could definitely see them switching it out for Tyrese or somebody like that instead. But again, I don't think it's going to be a female and uh, it, it definitely can't be the, uh, the, the character that is in the comic book series. So let me know who you guys think it's going to be. I'd go most likely with Tyrese, then Abraham, and then maybe Bob or somebody like that. And then down the list, Daryl and, you know, the others. Um, so let me know who you guys think it's going to be. I think we're going to see it. You know, I'm pretty certain that we're going to see that epic intro that we saw just maybe in a different fashion. But, the you know, the rules that he has... Um, because that's very central, that's very core to Negan as a character. So I think we're going to see that. Uh, unless they just go with a, a like a face-burning thing to show them or something like that. Um, Negan's got this thing. He likes to use irons and burn people's faces to show their, to, to, I don't know, their, uh, their deceit or, or you know defying his rules as punishment or whatever. So let me know what you guys think about that. Lots to, uh, lots to talk about, lots to think about there and who it's going to be. Um, of course, it could be a new character too, so who knows. But um, those are kind of my thoughts on it. You guys wanted to see the video, so there it is. And uh, if you liked it, please uh, like it below, thumb it up. If you want to help support the channel, share it. Share it on Facebook or whatever social media site you use, Twitter, whatever. And uh, I'll call it here. That's it for this video, guys. See you for the next one. This is Trev. As always, same piece.